Hello my friends and welcome to a brand new playthrough series of Distant Worlds. This time out I think we're going to try the Pirates. Yes, I've had many requests over the years to do a Pirate playthrough, so I think we'll uh, give that a shot for today. Um, probably going to record five or six episodes in one shot. I'm busy next week, so I'm going to get some uh, episodes ahead so we don't, uh, don't uh, starve the channel at all. So yeah, we're going to try a, a pirate game because people have been requesting it. And right off the bat, I'm not very good at playing pirates. And I've uh, tried a few games, I've started up and uh, managed to get a fair ways. So I think we're going to be okay. So I think we're just going to come into a custom game as a pirate faction. And the last game I tried was 700 8 by 8 I might crank that up just a bit. And we'll throw a few more stars in there. Yeah, that seemed to work out pretty good, so we'll go a little bigger. Uh, the, the galaxy felt a bit small, I found. So anyways, uh, we're going to go with our standard spiral galaxy. And uh, expansion will be pre-warped. This is for the empires only. Uh, we start actually here. So this is the starting of the rest of the, uh, the galaxy. So the empires will be starting in pre-warp, which means we'll be able to exploit them before they actually break out with uh, warp drives and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, aggression, I'm thinking I might pop that up just a little bit more. I think we'll go to chaos on that. Uh, this is primarily, uh, it's, it's going to create the, uh, a lot of tension between the actual races themselves. So that might give us a little bit of breathing room, but it might make the other pirates a bit, uh, a bit more aggressive towards us as well. So we'll go to chaos. I'm not going to go extreme, I'm going to just back it off to very hard. Uh, we're going to leave research costs at normal. I'm going to go uh, kind of normal with most stuff here. So uh, we're going to leave that at normal. I usually go expensive just because uh, the empires, it kind of slows them down a bit. But uh, we're just going to go with normal for now. Uh, space creatures, we're going to go with many. i just leave them there. Just a bit of added flavor to the game, I guess. Uh, pirates, we're going to go with normal. And the pirate strength will also be normal as well. And I don't even know whether that even applies to us or not. I'm not sure. I guess it puts more pirates in our uh, end, of the, end of the woods as well. So we'll go next to Colony and Territory. Uh, we're going to go Normal Normal. And that keeps dropping down on me, so we'll just go with the suggested. I don't really monkey with this too much. I don't know whether it really even uh, applies too much as pirates. Maybe once we get an actual planet it might. And we're going to enforce colonization ranges to one sector. Okay, now we can pick a race. Um, even though we're pirates, we're actually, or we actually have a base uh, racial traits and everything. So uh, I'm just going to put that on random, I think. And we'll just take whoever we get. Now, uh, you get the special abilities and the special tech uh, tree advances or um, specialties, depending on the race you select. For instance, if we get the Buscarans as our base race, then we'll have access to the Schecter, Firestorm, Torpedoes, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to go random. We'll just take what we get. The only thing that really sucks is if you end up with a pirate beside you that has missiles and you end up starting with like rail guns or something. Man, that was a tough start, that one. So that's the only problem, but uh, we'll get through it anyways, hopefully. And we are going to be Monty's Marauders. We'll uh, get away from our standard uh, Caspellian uh, territories and uh, whatever we usually call ourselves. And we are going to go with raiders. We've got to be a raider if we're going to be a marauder, right? So raiders attempt to control colonies both independent and those owned by standard empires. They grow rich by siphoning off wealth from these uh, controlled colonies. To cement their control, they fight off competing rival pirates and attempt to build pirate bases and fortresses on their colonies. So because we're not really smugglers, uh, smuggling income is going to be minus 30%, which kind of sucks because that's kind of your early game money. But, oh well, we'll just deal with that as we deal with it. Uh, boarding raid strength, though, is going to be 25% greater. Uh, raid bonuses, so if you, if you succeed in the raids, you get 40% uh, bonus there. Uh, sh state ship and base maintenance costs are plus 10%. Um, so that kind of sucks because money is really, really tight in the beginning. Uh, private and base ma maintenance costs also 10%. Uh, weapons research is plus 20% and high-tech research is minus 20%. So we're going to be a little heavier on the weapons and a little less... Uh, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not so good on the high-tech research. How's that for English? <laughs> um so build time and cost for pirate bases is plus 50%. So it's going to take us longer to build that stuff. 
and build time for criminal network which is your high-end uh, planetary facility is going to be plus 50 percent as well and facility fortification and and bonus uh, and defense bonus is minus 20 percent so if we happen to have a, a facility on a planet and the uh the existing population decides to get rid of us we're going to have a penalty of 20 percent against the troops against us okay so other empires i think this is just kind of my standard setup i think there's something like 18 of them here or something and they're various distances away and they're all in pre-warp and we'll just leave them all random uh allow independent alien to start empires during game i might click that off that just gives us a few more a little bit more leeway as far as the independent aliens go and we can uh, control them a, for a, maybe a bit longer before the actual empires gobble them up Okay, victory conditions. I relaxed these a bit as well. I've gone back to about 40%. I usually put this at 100%. and put this at 100%, so it's basically a sandbox game. But I think for this uh, playthrough, we're not going to bother with that. So we're 85% is our threshold, and we need 40% of territory, population, and economy to get our victory. And they don't apply for 30 years after we start the game. And everything's enabled except for the Return of the Shaktari story events. And we're going to allow uh, giant kelters and tech trading. Why not? So we'll just start the game. And a little bit of artifacting from my desktop there, but oh well, not going to worry about it. Shouldn't affect the game at all. Uh, yeah, I figured I'd just do this because I'm still kind of contemplating on what to do for an actual series next. So if you have any suggestions, uh, any mods you'd like to see maybe, um, pop them down in the, dis in the uh, comments and we'll uh, have a look at that. I'm not sure how long this series will go. I'm guessing we'll get a handful of episodes out of it before it just gets unruly or we get killed or whatever. You know me, I tend to get killed a lot. So, <laughs> But yeah, I pop them down in the uh, comments and we'll uh, have a look at that. And once I go to start up an actual uh, Empire game again, we'll uh, decide at that point what we're going to do. And this just takes a minute, so I should probably maybe pause. Yeah, I'm going to pause recording and we'll come back once this is done. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we are Monty's Marauders, and we are the rule of the Boscarns. How huh, funny, I just uh, was talking about that, and that's uh, who we are. Okay, so that's our base race, which means we will have access to the Schechter Firestorms. Nice. Okay, and we our play uh, style is Raider. So we have to get 40, uh, we already went through that, so we need 40% of everything, and uh, I think this is just a standard blurb other than we are a pirate faction in the Age of Shadows, and then pirate smugglers, yeah, so that's a standard blurb we get with every game. Uh, this has changed, though. What we should do is gain control over populated colonies and keep starships in orbit around them. Cement your control over these colonies by being the first to build a hidden pirate base facilities. Uh, make protection agreements with standard empires to obtain uh, and secure revenue. Take, a, uh, take on appropriate missions from standard empires to earn extra money and expand your influence. And stifle the breakout, or the breakout growth from the standard empires by destroying any spaceports they attempt to build. So we'll uh, just hit the start playing and pause right away. And let's have a look at what we're, where we are here. Let's just zoom out. Okay, so we're in the outer arm where we kind of usually start. I usually try to start in the outer uh, core. And we do have one independent somewhat close by to us. Uh, it could be a problem if there's another pirate uh, that wants to take control of that. So that's going to be an issue if that happens to pop up. So let's come back in and see what we have. We have a small spaceport, I'm assuming. Yes, a small spaceport. And this is a lonely outpost. And it looks like we have a resupply ship. And it's got a firepower of 110. This is a fairly big ship. It's got 1,000 shields on it and um, yeah, 110 firepower, range of 300, which means it must have torpedoes on it. All right. So that's the design for this particular ship. And uh, we are using, actually, the I forgot to mention that, we're using the AI improvement mod 1.05, I believe. So warp cores aren't, or warp drives aren't actually up to full speed yet for us or the empires. And I just noticed it's a little shy on energy collection, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. It is a re refueling ship anyway, so. Um, so in the beginning, we get one construction ship without the ability to build more until we get ourselves an actual planet. 
So any more construction ships we obtain, we need to board and capture. And sometimes you run across an event that actually gives you one, so that's pretty cool. We also have, and we uh, actually have to build these ourselves. This is just, uh, uh, we can't control these uh, private ships, but we, uh, we need to build them ourselves. So we have to b actually physically give the order to build these. So we have one mining ship and we have one smuggling ship, which is a freighter, basically. Uh, we have two, I think, two explorers. So we might want to grab another one at some point. Exploration is pretty important. And we probably have about three, oh, no, yeah, three uh, escorts. So those are all the ships we have. So I guess before we go too much further, let's just come in and see what our leader is like. And we have a fleet admiral already. Okay, so he's commanding only outpost, and he's got some targeting, countermeasures, ship maneuvering, which isn't going to do much on a spaceport, but, and fighters, which is down the road a bit, so that's not going to really apply to us in the early stages. Our leader has tourist income. Um, now, I didn't, didn't actually test this, but I think we can build resort bases and, kept, and uh, make money off them. I'm not entirely sure. I meant to test that in uh, one of the uh, quick games I tried, but I never really got that far. So I think we can do that, and maybe we'll test that out this game. And we have one intelligence agent, so good. looks like he's good for espionage and counter-espionage. So hopefully we'll get a few more of those. Okay, so that looks fine. And let's just come in here for a sec. And this looks a little different from a standard empire. Uh, basically, you have your uh, expenses and your profits, uh, or your incomes. So uh, stable expenses, um, which is ship maintenance, they, that comes off every year. And then variable expenses, depending on what you're doing, the construction, resource purchases, and all that kind of stuff, fuel purchases. Not sure what's involved in other, but uh, I don't think I've seen that come up yet. Um, and we got income from protection agreements, control colonies, and uh, we can get variable income from our pirate missions, which show up over in this tab here. Yeah, smuggling, mining. Uh, we do get mining uh, income. So if we do a bunch of mining, we actually get income from doing that. We can sell information. Yeah, resorts. That's right. There we go there. So yeah, we can build resort bases and make money off them. So we'll have to try that out if we get the chance. And then raids and other stuff we get there. I just have no idea what's involved in other. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. And Monty's Marauders is the name. And let's just come into science for a quick second. And we'll go to research stations first. And as you can see, our research potential sucks big time. So research is going to be super slow. So we're going to have to try and rely on spying to get a lot of our tech. So let's come into uh, weapons. And like I said, let's uh, have a look. Yes, we have access to the Schecter Firestorms. Uh, we're using these right now, which are a damage of 11. And that's like right close up. Uh, if you look down, you'll see damage loss 3 per 100 distance. These things go for 300 range, which means we lose 9 if we're shooting at maximum distance. So it'll, it's only an actual uh, damage of 2 if we're shooting at maximum di uh, distance. So we'll definitely want to uh, approach ships uh, closer to actually do, the, do our damage. But we can get into this like right away. So I think I'm just going to queue that one up. Okay, and an energy construction. Uh, so we start with some stuff. Uh, even though we're in pre-warp, we do start with uh, shields and hyperdrive technology. And again, we're using the AI mods, so this maximum speed is only 6250. Uh, and we start off with uh, decent uh, uh, sublight engines, energy collection, and we can build up to 400 ship sizes. So I think uh, the best thing to do is maybe enhance our shields right away. Okay, and high tech and research or high tech and industrial. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do in here. Uh, we can't really utilize colonization. However, uh, B and Boscarn, I think volcanic. If we happen to get a planet, we can uh, build volcanic colony ships right away without getting this technology. So, uh, not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, explorers, uh, they have a range of 8,000. I could increase that, but. I think we're going to just get our target track and we'll work on uh, the military end of it first. So I think that's how we'll get going on the uh, research. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at uh, ship designs here. And I am uh, playing uh, manually, so I'm just going to plop all these off for a sec. Well, not 
for a sec for the game, I guess. Bear with me while I click through those. Okay, so let's go to, let's have a look at our bases first. So we're going to have a small spaceport. Let's just see what's on it. Yes, we already have one. I know that. And I'm just going to sort by category and sort by name just so it's easy for me to find stuff. And we have a firepower of 220. And research is fine. Uh, we can't do much more than that anyways. And it's going to be mining 40 gas. So we're actually parked on top of a, a planet that has, a, I believe, Keslon. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So I think this is a good design. We'll just leave it as such. Um, don't want to spend any money actually retrofitting it yet anyways because we have 18913 in money and that is it until we start getting some cash flow going. So it's not like a standard empire where you can actually have some cash flow to get you going. Uh, this is going to be like negative for a while. Okay, so if we look at this quickly, we can see that the uh, Dirk... <laughs> The Curion and the Senator are actually the same design. And the Praetor and Minotaur are slightly different. There's uh, one extra component on here, I think, by the looks of it. So I'm not going to worry too much about editing this one right away. Uh, we already have three ships built with this design, but all, all designs have an assault pod because we, we are pirates and we will be boarding stuff. And the assault pods also do the rating and stuff on the planet. So. Always make sure you have assault pods on your pirate ships. And we have four Epsilon torpedoes with a firepower of 44. And everything looks fine here. So we're just going to fly with this, I think. Now, 400 shields, which is good because shielding is kind of important. Because, uh, well, because it's shields. <laughs> so we're going to leave that one. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll skip the frigate and we'll come down to the destroyer. And we are going to edit this one because in my other play, uh, playthroughs, I noticed that we have an, ener an extra energy collector on it, which we do not need. So I'm just going to rip that off right now. Also, there's a huge amount of fuel storage here. And just to make some room to maybe do a couple of adjustments on some other stuff, let's uh, maybe pull a bit of fuel storage off. Uh, right now, we can pretty much go right across the galaxy which isn't really required at the moment so we're just going to take a few of these off and I think I'll drop it down to about 10 and that gives us a bit more room and we can maybe make some adjustments to this design so that still gets us uh, almost six sectors so that's three sectors out and if we got to come back for fuel that's three sectors back so that should be fine and hopefully there's uh, lots of stuff in uh, in that range that we can uh, deal with Okay, uh, oh, I didn't notice in the tech tree, but we do have tractor beams as well. Super handy, especially with the torpedoes. Uh, if we hover over this, you'll see that range is 300, max damage 11, minimum damage 2. And that's what I was just talking about in the other screen, is that maximum damage, or maximum range, we're going to be doing 2 damage. So we definitely want to be able to pull the ships right close to us to really smack them down. So I'm going to put a tractor beam on these. And that gives us 50, I, there's no actual firepower on this, is there? Yeah, minimum damage, minus 6, maximum damage, 10. Well, maybe it does do a bit of damage, but it didn't really change that, did it? But anyways, we want to be able to pull them in, or if we come across a creature, we want to be able to push them away. And that will do both. And we still have a bit of room. Uh, let's see, that's what, 109. So I think what I'll do... Uh, 22, which is actually going to fill this thing, isn't it? Hmm. I'm looking at the sprint because we are going to want to actually sprint ahead and try to get as close as, as close to stuff as we can. And this is going to be a bit tricky. I might pull a couple, maybe one shield off just to make a bit more room because what I'd like to do is put another fission reactor on and one more Epsilon. Or should I maybe go with a Maxis? Just one Maxis blaster. Uh, damage 5, and we lose 1 per 100 distance, and I believe it rounds to the nearest 100. So we might lose 2. If not, if it doesn't round up to the nearest 100, then we only lose 1. But I think it does round up, so we have a maximum damage of 3, which is a little bit better than the maximum range of that. But right, let's just pop it on for a second have a look. Uh, yeah, so it has to be a bit closer, so... 
I think another, uh, actually just another Epsilon is going to be actually a bit better for us. And we're a four over, are we? Hmm. Let's see. I don't really want to touch armor at all. I could maybe just go with one more, one less fuel cell. That should be fine. Okay. And 98. I'm just going to plop a couple more chunks of armor on there. And as you can see, we're getting all kinds of warnings that, no, we don't have this stuff because we haven't mined anything yet. Okay, so I think that'll be fine. It's going to cost us just a little over two grand a piece for these. So I want to build, like, hopefully, like, five of them. Just make a fleet about five of these. Just a little bit heavier punching power on these. So let's do that. So we'll save that. So the Praetor and the Decurion are the two ships we're going to... I'm not going to bother renaming these. We'll just go with the standard names, I guess. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, I will actually take the automation off these escorts because they tend to do stuff that I don't really want them to do, like leave the planet I'm trying to control to go do other stuff. And uh, I want them to stick around with what I'm doing, and I'm actually going to fleet those up. I'll go to military. And we'll just throw those into a fleet. So that'll be the first fleet. I'll... I'll rename these fleets in a sec but let's go back to our construction yards here for a sec so what i'm going to do uh, we have one each of mining ship i think it's one each let's really just check on that yeah we got one gas mining ship and one mining ship um i'm going to build one more mining ship I wonder if i should build one of each how much are they uh, okay, gas miners are 1100 and mining ships are pretty much the same. I think it's important. Uh, we, need to, we need to get resources and this is kind of the only way we can do it in the beginning. Other than to build actual mining stations, of course. So we'll get a mining ship and a gas mining ship. And I'm also going to get one more freighter. Now the freighters are actually all the same design. Uh, the small, medium, and large are actually the exact same design. So it really doesn't matter which one I do. But I think the AI does make a distinction. So I'm going to go with a medium just because we already have a small one. So just uh, separate that out a bit. The uh, AI might uh, favor the medium freighters for smuggling a bit better than the small. So we'll just uh, make sure we have another a slightly bigger one, theoretically, anyways. Okay, so that leaves us 15,000 credits. Um, oops. Now, I definitely want five of these. So it's going to be a roughly 10 grand to buy these. So one, two, three, four, and five. And that leaves us 52. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to fleet those up. The military. Throw those in a quick fleet. All right, and I'll take the automation off those. And I'll take the automation off the resupply ship too. I'll just uh, treat everything manually for now. But before I spend all the cash, I want to grab our construction ship and maybe get some mi uh, mining station done somewhere. Oh, one planet in here, that's it. We already got a mine on that, so we got steel. Uh, the big thing I noticed that the Empire seemed to want is uh, silicon. Silicon or carbon fiber, one of the two. Oops, let's just maybe sort by distance here. Let's see what's right next to us. Yeah, not seeing any silicon. Silicon and carbon fiber seem to be the biggest demands. And polymer as well. There's carbon fiber and chromium. That almost tells me that might be a good one to mine. Let's just slip down and see what else we got. Got a luxury fitty mail. I believe that's a a, uh, a Boscarn uh, favored uh, resource. Let's just have a look here, Boscara. If we come down to resource, uh, refitting mail, yeah, plus five happiness for all colonies. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. We don't have any actual colonies. Whether that applies to us, I'm not sure. Because we aren't an actual empire, we're pirates. 
And I'm not seeing any silicon. Let's have a quick look here for silicon. Okay, where's that? That's actually a fair ways away from where we are. I think I might go for the carbon fiber and the chromium. That sounds like something that'd be in high demand. Where's that? That's over there. And that's pretty close to us. We might be able to uh, defend that a little he a little better. So I'm going to send that construction ship to get that. And now that I think of it, I don't know whether we actually pay for that. Let's see if we still have five grand left in our... Uh... Okay, we still got the money, but to initiate the actual build, if you're broke, you can't actually start the construction. Um, if you have the money, then you can start the construction, but I don't see the credits coming off, so we might get away with actually spending this money. And we have five grand left. I could get three escorts. I think I'll build another uh, uh, fleet of escorts. So one, two, and three. And that eats up pretty much all of our cash. So come back here. And we'll fleet those into another fleet. And take the automation off. And let's just go into the fleet screen for a sec. So this is our, I'm just going to call that the first terror fleet. And then this um, the first control fleet. Because these will be the fleets that we use to control colonies in the second control fleet. Okay, so we'll use those to control colonies, and that one we'll use to actually, well, instill terror. Okay, so there we go. That's all the builds, building we can do at the moment. And I think we hit space. That'll Okay, somebody's going there still. Who is it? I kind of thought I took that off. I guess I didn't care. I just, uh... okay, so the first control fleet is coming over to this planet in here. It's independent. And let's have a look and see what's on it. It's a planet of Ugnari. Excellent. And they have Tiderius and a Luxury in here. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to let that go. Uh, these guys are not automated. So once they get there, we'll either raid it or try to control it. Maybe do both. And the explorers are heading out to do what they do. So we know, we know what's around us. Uh, this, all this is going to explore it already, so we're not starting in a pre-warp situation at all. We uh, do have a bit of knowledge of the stuff around us, and we do have another gas mining station there. What are you mining? Ooh, excellent. So I think we got two sources of Keslon. Let's come in and have a look at our resources here. Uh, where's Keslon? Keslon. There it is. Yep, we got two sources of Keslon. We got some Krypton, uh, Argon. Got Hydrogen, two sources. Helium, one source. Excellent. And we're about to get Carbon Fiber and Chromium. And we got one source of Steel. Steel's pretty important too. So there we go. Okay, so that's us started up and on our way. And that's kind of the end of the episode, unfortunately. That's the thing about this game. You just kind of get started and uh, pretty much eaten up half an hour already. So we have two more fleets coming in here. Which um, And uh, just before we go, uh, I was deploying this and collecting gas with it. Uh, the only problem is, is if something comes in to hit us, it takes them 30 seconds to undeploy and respond. So I think I'm just going to leave him here or maybe... I'll get him to actually patrol that. Okay. And I don't think we have any pyramid. Oh, we do. Uh, defend for independent. Okay. So they want us to defend that colony. We're, we're going to go over and raid it, but uh, it's going to pay us five grand to actually defend it. Uh, raiding will get us a few things. It could be money. It could be resources or it could be tech. But I think for now, we might just grab the five grand. So I'm going to accept that, and when we get over there, now, what are you trying to do, first of all? You're going to try and raid it, so we've got to stop that mission. So let's, uh, let's just stop here. OK, 
Okay, and I'm just going to issue a patrol order for this now. So we will patrol that planet. And to get that menu, hold down control and right click. And we can get that menu up just in case somebody's new to the game. Okay, so I guess we'll leave it here and we'll pick it up next time. And uh, yeah, we're on our way. So uh, yeah, again, if I'm looking to do another actual Empire game. And if you have any ideas, suggestions on a setup or anything, I'm probably not going to do another extreme game. I'll at least I'll probably do it at very hard difficulty. I'm probably not going to bother with another extreme right away anyways, maybe down the road a bit. But I think the next series will just drop it back to uh, very hard and we'll uh, try to get things going that way. And I'm not sure how far this series will actually go. And it does get pretty insane a little later on. So uh, we might end up getting murdered early. <laughs> okay, so I uh, appreciate your viewing. And uh, we'll catch you next time.